Good evening, everybody. I have a package of uh, chuck steak. It's steak that sliced very, very thin. It was given to me at the food pantry. And I've been trying to figure out what I was going to do with it. I couldn't think of anything that I really wanted to cook with it. So I'm going to make little, little pieces like this. It's been salt, peppered, and garlic powder. This is flour. I'm going to deep fry it. It would be good for uh, like Philly steak or maybe fajitas. Uh, Y'all, it's hot and I just don't want to cook. I just don't want to. So, I took this out this morning and literally when it thawed, this is what it looked like. It sliced so thin and then I was like, now what am I going to do with it? So, I guess we'll just fry it. I, I really... I really don't know what else to do with it at this point. So the pieces that stayed intact, I'm just going to cut into smaller pieces and just make fried steak. And I can make uh, sandwiches or I can cut it up, put it on salad. I can cut it up, put it on baked potato. So I'll have several, I may make mashed potatoes. I could make gravy, but there it is, floured, salt, peppered. I need to get a little bit hotter. Salt, pepper, garlic, garlic uh, powder. I mean, it just, it just fell all to pieces, so I hope that means it's good and tender. But I got it, um, I don't know, a few weeks ago at the food pantry. So I am not going to complain one little bit. Y'all know it's just country cooking, real cooking around here. I'm sure that this will cook in a few minutes. I, I wouldn't think it would take this very long to... But I bet it makes some good sandwiches. Started to you know batter it up and do like chicken fries, but y'all, it's in too many pieces. <laughs> it is in too many little pieces to be dipping all that. But it's chuck steak. It says it cooks in ten minutes, and the price was fifteen dollars and ninety-one cents. It's uh almost two pounds so I'm definitely not complaining for a you know $8.99 a pound and it was given to me free not complaining at all I just hope it's uh, somewhat tender. Mm -hmm. 
and it is a Sunday afternoon. I don't know what day I'll post this, but um, I know sometimes y'all probably get confused when I'm talking because it may be two or three weeks after whatever I'm talking about is over. <laughs> But I just video this stuff as I cook it or as I'm writing. And I, I've told y'all that before, but sometimes y'all comment and it makes me think you're confused about what I'm saying. So I keep reminding y'all that the day it's posted is not the day I video. Hardly ever will it be the day I do. I uh, make the video. I have me some cold tea and oh y'all, it is so good because it is hot. I scratch my arm on the chicken pen. And I don't know how something so little can be so bothersome. But it is. And every time, I think it's getting better. Brinley breaks it back open. Playing. She don't mean to. Y'all, I don't know how my kids it's so dirty. I'm always cleaning something in here. Washing and cleaning. Y'all, I should have let that get a little bit hotter, I think, before I put that in there. I don't think it was hot enough. I think I put it in too quickly. But, while it's cooking, I'm going to peel some potatoes. And I think I'm going to do some cube potatoes in the air fryer. I love them done that way in there. I love to air fry cube uh, potatoes. Oh, they turn out so crispy. And they're so crispy on the outside and tender on the inside, y'all. If you don't cook them in the air fryer, you really need to try that. You uh, cover them with oil and put your seasonings on the oil. I know watching that fry is not very exciting. Is it? I really thought that grease was hotter when I started that. But I'll cut this potato up. And then I'll come back when I put them in the air fryer. And I'll show you how I do these. And it takes about 15 or 20 minutes in the air fryer. But I'm going to tell you, they're perfectly crispy on the outside. And they're tender inside. And oh, they are so good, y'all. But we're just going to cube them up like that. And uh, while the steak is finished cooking... I'll come back and show you what the steak looks like when I take it up. Okay, y'all. Got the potatoes cubed up. We're going to put some... Actually, we're going to put some olive oil on first. Just coat them good with them good with olive oil. 
We got the air fryer preheating 400 degrees. Okay. Now I'm gonna put some garlic powder. Cause that's what I like. Y'all put what you like. This is pink Himalayan salt. A little black pepper. Y'all just put whatever y'all like, what seasonings y'all like. Okay. So my, my air fryer, we're just going to put one layer. And y'all, I have a small air fryer because it's just me. So sometimes when I'm cooking for me and my sister, I'm cooking extra. I have to run it two times because it's small, but most of the time it works just fine. Except when I'm cooking a big, a big meal for several people. And if I do something like this, see, I have to do, I'll have to do two, do it two times, but that's fine, y'all, because it's worth it. Okay, we put that in. We got it set for 10 minutes. And when the 10 minutes is up, uh, I'll turn it on. Okay, we got the, we got the potatoes in and uh, our meat's getting crispy over here. as much this time maybe I filled it too full and it couldn't come up to a good temperature we'll put less this time and see what oh, I smell that garlic that look good really good y'all. It's tender. Come here Brindley. You want some? Let's see Brindley that might be hot baby. Mine cool a little bit more. Okay let's see. Oh that's so good mama. Thank you. Oh, that's so good. Y'all, she's full rotten. I'll be back when these potatoes are ready and show you what they look like. Okay, y'all. <clears throat> we got the we got the meat all fried up. I know the lighting in here is terrible. Let's get you back there. There you go. Don't that look good? Woo, I've been snacking on that the whole time it's been cooking. Our potatoes are about ready to take out of the uh, air fryer. Y'all see that? That's 20 minutes in the air fryer, coated with, I put olive oil, you can put whatever kind of oil you want and your seasonings uh, at, 10 minutes, at 10 minutes. Uh, I started shaking them and turning them around, turning them over. Now I'm gonna put the rest of these. Remember, do one layer. You don't want, you don't want a piece on top of another piece 
because it won't cook. It won't cook evenly. You want to spread them out. Y'all, this is good to do uh, any kind of root vegetable. Sweet potato. Any kind of root vegetable. I like it cooked like this. It's very similar to roasting it in the oven. Okay, these are going to go back in for 10 minutes. Then we'll flip them and cook them another 10 minutes. And uh, in the meantime, I'm going to start a coconut pie. And uh, let me let y'all look at these. I'm telling y'all, they're perfectly crispy on the outside. Really tender and moist on the inside, y'all. These are the best. They are so good. I love them like this. And the only oil you get is whatever little bit you put on them. So it's not as much as frying. You can do it without the oil, but they will not brown. So. So there's our fried steak and our air fried potatoes. And I'm going to make a coconut pie. 